Hi, and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add reflections in Blender 3. Okay, so we've got this basic Blender text. We created this in the last tutorial, just showing you how to create some 3D text. And we want to add some reflection on the floor and add some lighting effects and so forth, right? So I'll put a link to this huge I'll put a link to this uh, tutorial we did previously in the YouTube description if you want to check that out. This is just some basic 3D text showing you how to create that. Let's go ahead and press Shift and A. In fact, let me go ahead and turn on my screencast keys so you can see my key presses. I'm going to press Shift and A and I want to add a plane. So we want to have reflection off of this surface. So I'm going to press uh, 0 on my keyboard to go into the camera view so we can see this plane here from the camera view. Press S to scale. I'm going to scale it out so that it's covering the whole camera view, right? Something like this. And the first thing we'll do is make sure we're in render view over here. So make sure we're in render view. We'll click on the surface here or this plane and we'll go to the material. And in the material, let's add a new material and call it, let's just call it floor for now. And we want to change the base color. So you can change it to whatever color you want. I want to change it to like a blue, quite a dark blue color, something like this sort of color here, something quite dark. So this sort of dark blue color and then I want to turn the metallic all the way up and I want to turn the roughness down a bit down a bit like this and we're going to adjust these settings afterwards just to get it right so the first problem we have is like this light source is reflecting across the floor and I don't really want that so I'm going to press number let's see number three on my keyboard let's press number three we can see the camera pointing downwards we can see the light source here so I'm going to click on that light source press G to grab it press Y to lock it on the Y axis and just move it so that it's kind of sitting you know underneath the camera just a little bit of distance away from the camera so the text is still illuminated but now it's not going to show on the floor you can't really see that reflection so much we could even move it back a little bit more but you won't see that in the render so when we press f12 to render you won't see that reflection down here we don't really want that so let's go ahead and click on this floor again and let's go over to the render properties so inside the render properties option in here I want to turn on ambient inclusion. That will just put this little drop shadow underneath. Can you see this little drop shadow? That's I kind of like that drop shadow. And you can go ahead and um, maximize this this option here. Open it up. You can change the distance and uh, and just play around with this sort of this shadow that gets drops underneath the text. I kind of like it as its default. And you can play around with the trace position and also the factor here. Just play around with it. It's kind of like smoothing it out or reducing this intensity here so something like this looks pretty good and I want to turn on bloom so we can turn on the bloom we can maximize the settings here you can change the radius of the bloom you can make it quite quite uh, you know intense you can reduce it and increase it and do all that good stuff so play around with the bloom settings you can uh, change the intensity here as well and I think something like this is going to be okay we might adjust it afterwards as well the last thing I want to do is turn on screen space reflections here so I'm going to turn this on and then I want to turn make sure you turn on refractions here and turn off half trace turn this off is not so good half trace and you can adjust the max roughness here you can play around with these settings uh, let's trace the trace position here so you can play around with these settings to ref, you know to adjust this this reflection here so you can you know bring it right down you can increase it and make it quite intense uh, you can change the thickness and do all these different things to just play around with. So it's really about experimenting, right? The edge fade as well. You can play around with these settings just to see how they um, affect this um, this reflection here on this surface, right? So if we click on the surface again and go back to its material, and if we were to turn off the metallic, you can see the difference now between the two. So you can turn off metallic, but if you make the surface metallic, then you kind of get this effect, right? Which I quite like. Or you can kind of bring it somewhere in, in between the middle and then the roughness has quite a dramatic effect you can see so the more roughness uh, the, if we don't have very much roughness that means the metallic surface is very smooth and we see the reflection quite a lot but I like to give a bit of roughness here just to kind of blur it out a little bit something like this so I think that's looking pretty cool so if you were to do some camera work here you can kind of see what would happen if you're moving across this text and you've got the uh, the bloom here as well let's press um f12 to render and now you can kind of see this text here i think we want to uh, do a couple more things so let's go to the light source let's click on light up here and let's set the power much higher let's set it to like 10,000. let's add an extra zero in here 
and now we can see much more of a bloom so when we move across this text we can see the bloom much more let's press f12 uh, I think we need to adjust the bloom settings let's go into the bloom settings let's press zero on our keyboard that takes us into the camera view here and then we can go into the bloom settings maybe reduce its intensity the radius let's bring the radius down I think it's a bit too much you can just play around with these settings just to see where that bloom looks the best for you and then the background isn't very good so let's go to the world settings let's go to our colors and just make it black at the back and let's just press f12 and I think that looks much much better now you've got the shadows you've got the bloom and you've got the reflection down here I think that looks pretty cool okay so that's how you go about adding reflections you've got the shadows in the background if you don't want these shadows click on the light source and then go to the light settings here and then turn off shadows here you can just turn them all off just by clicking this option here so that's kind of an option for you if you want to do that um, so that's about it that's how you go about adding these uh, reflections in blender so you could have any object and you can apply that same logic and you'll get this similar sort of effect as well okay hopefully you find this tutorial useful don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel where you can access over 750 free video tutorials please smash that thumbs up if you like this video hopefully uh, you'll you'll smash the like button and i'll make some more blender tutorials in the coming weeks okay i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial